come back to cooking with Lucia. I will be cooking up some stewed peas. Jamaican home style stewed peas. Alright, now in order to make it stewed peas, you have to have either moss, your beans or your peas. I am using kidney beans, right? It's about a pound and a half because you have to take in consideration the amount of meat you'll be using. Now over here I have some pig steel that I went to add and I soaked for about three hours this early this morning and then I scald it off in some boiling water, let the water boil, put it in the water when it starts to boil and then let it stay in there for about eight minutes so. And I drain off all the water off it and this is the look. Also, I have with me two pounds of chicken feet. So I went ahead and I chopped up all the nails and so I didn't have any skin or that on it. So I chopped it in two. This is the way I like to do it when I'm putting it in my stew piece. Now you can go ahead and put whatever meat you like. I also have here with me one pound of um, boneless beef. You understand? I went to the meat shop and I get my meat. So you can buy it at the supermarket or your regular meat shop. All right, so there you have it, about five pounds of meat to my pound and a half of peas. Because remember, you know, the more the peas, the better. If you have just a little bit of peas, the, the two peas will not get that rich red color. You understand? So in order to get that rich red color, you have to ensure that you have enough peas. But I also love to use the um, round red peas, you know. I didn't get any of that yesterday, so I'll have to just stick to my kidney peas. Sometimes I mix the round red with the kidney peas, but for today, this is my thing. So I'm going to get started. Um, my peas is soaked from overnight with some peg of garlic. I would suggest that you use um, salt beef. Salt beef, um, pig steel and pig steel salt and salt beef salt. No salt. I would rather you use um, some other fresh meat to draw some of the salt. Although we scald it off already. I have my pressure pot and I'm going to put my peas in there, my kidney beans in there. All right. And I'm going to add a little bit more water on it and I'm going to pressure it for about 20 minutes. With the bean, I'm not going to let it fully cook. I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes then I add in my meat. Here I have some coconut milk. Alright, I'm going to add it to the peas also. Trust me, may I tell you say, the pressure pot saves time. After 20 minutes, the peas is cooked. So I add in all my other meats, chicken feed and the beef with the pig tail. So I'm gonna give it another 20 minutes, you know, by 20, 25 minutes. So it's supposed to everything supposed to nicely cook and then season up the pot with whatever vegetable i'm putting in there not a lot of things so soon come back <music> how it is so i'm gonna go ahead now and add in my seasoning all right my other season use this dough that i've made and put in some spinners or some purses call it dilly dumpling yes because they're small so they call it dilly dumpling. So I'm gonna roll some and I'm gonna add it in it. in with some seasoning now some onion chop some onion two stalk of scallion right a nice nice time you know me at the time go already may I cut it somewhere and as it finish it work let me take it out now look people this pepper 
are so small. So guess what? I can't use one. I'm gonna use two. Enough for bad man. That never at. Some butter. Some of my special jerk seasoning. Yeah, that's about it. And just a little troops of sugar. And some pimento seeds. My stupid, I don't know. Say no, done it, done. Yeah, peanuts, yeah, dilly dumpling. When you put in them, it gives you this richness, this thickness. See here, this way I look for. All I'm gonna meet them cook and nice and pretty. Yeah, man, my delicious stupid. But my pig tail, see here, nice. My chicken foot. I'm my beef, I'm a beef face. Come on, come here beef, let me show them what I want. In my pot, in my city there. See? Yeah, I didn't use two beef because I didn't want, you know, two beef have a way to melt away too fast. I'm going to just use up the boneless beef, sturdy and nice and, you know, my stew peas. Look at it. Well, I done, we done, you know, you know. Finish, you finish. All right. Run, go tell your friends and your family to like, share, and subscribe for these great dishes. So there you have it, guys. My nice, nice Jamaican stew peas. All right, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.